Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. Today, we are going to reset WordPress. So you'll learn how to reset WordPress back to its default settings. So we're going to start with this pre-built site here, and then we're going to reset it back to a fresh install of WordPress. So it'll look like this, just like a brand new install, clean database, clean set of plugins, and a clean media library. So if this sounds interesting, then keep watching. So there's really just three steps here. All we need to do is clear the media library first, then we reset the database using a reset plugin. And finally, we can remove any unused plugins and themes. Now that's optional. You can leave the plugins and themes as you need them, but let's get on with it. To clear our media library, we head to media and library. And if you've only got a few images, you can use this bulk select tool and click the first one, hold down shift and select the rest of the images. You can delete them permanently like that. But if you've got a lot more images, you can actually change to list view there and we can change how many images appear. Now this can be useful if you've got more than one page of images, we can increase the number of items per page. So you can increase that. You can try 100 or 200. I'm gonna boost that to 99. Don't set that too high because it might give you an error. Depends on your hosting, but let's go with 99 for this example. And then using this box at the top, we can select all our images and we can delete them permanently like that. Click apply, you'll get a confirmation and go ahead and delete them and we are all clear. It's really important to do this step clearing the media library first because resetting the database doesn't actually delete any images or videos. It just wipes the database. So you'll end up with a bunch of images and stuff sitting on your server wasting space if you don't do this step first. So make sure you clear that media library first. Okay, next step is resetting the database. So we're going to go to plugins and add new. We're going to use a reset plugin to do this. So we search for the word reset and any of these three plugins will probably work just fine. My favorite is this one called advanced WordPress reset. So I'm going to install that one. And when that's all done, we click activate. So after that plugin is active under tools, we'll get our advanced WP reset in our menu there. We just have to type reset in here. So you have to type reset in there just to confirm and then click reset database. You'll get another confirmation here and click continue. Then as soon as your database resets, you'll have to log back into WordPress. So you can go ahead and log back in. Your password will still be the same as it was. And now with any luck, our WordPress install should be all reset. So let's check out that page. And there we go, a nice, clean, fresh WordPress setup. And finally, if we go over to plugins and installed plugins, we can actually see that all our plugins are still here. Just all of them have been deactivated except for the reset plugin, of course. But we can go ahead and select any of the plugins that we no longer need to use. And we can go ahead and delete them quite easily. If you really wanted to start from scratch, you could click the top button and just delete all the plugins you wanted to. Um, and then we'd have no plugins. So it's going to go through and delete all of our plugins. So you can sort of decide for yourself which way you want to go here. You probably want to keep a few other things if you're building a fresh site without having to download and install them again. So just be selective about what you want to keep and what you want to delete here. And it's the same deal with themes under appearance and themes. All of our old themes are still going to be here. You can go ahead and remove any unused ones. For example, I've got hello here. If I'm not going to use that again, I can go ahead and delete it like that. Click OK. And now we're down to just these two themes. So that's pretty much all there is to it. We are ready to start fresh with WordPress. So if I wanted to use Cadence for my next website, I could go ahead and activate that theme and everything is back to how it was originally. So even the setup wizards will run as if it was a fresh install of WordPress. So that is pretty nice. It's always good to start fresh like this. If you're trying to use a Cadence starter template or an Astra starter site or anything like that, that are designed for running from a fresh install of WordPress. If you try and do these things on top of pre-built sites, you're just going to end up with a mess. So make sure you follow these directions and start with a fresh install of WordPress. Now that your site's all refreshed, you can go ahead and start from scratch. So I've got a couple of tutorials that are really good in this situation. You've got the cadence theme in this video and the Astra theme in the other video. So either way is pretty good. I think if you're a raw beginner, maybe go with Astra. If you've got a little bit more experience, maybe try cadence, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.